little fainting pen review today, and I do mean little. This is the Caveco Sport Classic. Um, I just picked this up from uh, Bureau Direct, um, just to take a look at it, really. It's uh, a little design which has always fascinated me. Um, these come in just under £20, around about £18, I think. And they're the pocket, uh, perfect pocket solution to people who love fountain pens. So comes in simple cardboard and plastic wrapping there. Not much to read on the on the box there. You can see this one is the Bordeaux, a nice deep burgundy red. Comes with a little international size branded ink cartridge there. I don't use those but it's nice to have in there. And the magic of this pen is as opposed to your regular size pen, so there's a Twisby, it is a fraction of the size and therefore the perfect pocket companion. It works by basically undoing the top there and using the cap to post, making it a very nicely sized pen. I'll take the cap off the, uh, the Twisby there just to do a quick comparison. It turns it into a, a legitimately full size pen. The Twisby is by no means small. So as you see, it's a uh, nice little design there. Two part, obviously, the cap posting to get it up to a decent hand size. This comes with a medium nib, it's a steel nib in gold. Now I wouldn't normally be that fussed about steel nibs being plated in gold but in this instance it does look really rather nice with the uh, the Bordeaux red colouring. The finial there is also gold, that sets it off nicely and the embossed writing is also gold. We'll come in for some detail in a minute. As I say, it comes with the uh, the single international cartridge. I'm a, a bottled ink fan, and what I did I, is I purchased the uh, the uh, Caveco converter, and this is the the cheaper of the two converter options. This is basically a silicon sack, and all you have to do is give it a few squeezes, immer well, immerse your nib in your ink, give it a few squeezes let the ink come in there and it will probably hold about the same amount of ink as the inter international cartridge there. Nice little bit of branding around the edge there. You've also got a, uh, a screw fill sort of plunger style uh, converter if, if that's your thing. Currently got it inked up with the uh, the Ackermans. My test ink really. We'll do a little writing sample in a moment. But yeah, th this really is the perfect everyday companion. Fills the hand once it's uh, constructed. The only comment I would have is that uh, the nib is really quite petite, uh, not only in, in breadth, so this is a medium, I think it, it writes like a true medium, but really in length, so your, your hand position could be quite close to the paper, it doesn't quite feel right to me. Um, the section's very narrow to be honest and sort of uh, necks down. Um, so if you if you hold it like it's uh, designed to be held, you put your hand quite close to the paper there. I tend to sort of put my hand a little bit further back just on the threads. That's a pretty normal writing position for me, it feels about right. Um, and it causes me no issue at all. The threads are perfectly smooth, no problems there at all. And it's a nice, comfortable writing position. As I say, um, medium nib. So it provides a decent line. Fairly generous ink flow. Seems to allow sort of some good shading properties to come through on the, the, on the ink. Hopefully we'll demonstrate that in a minute. Uh, but nice flow. Um, the feed it's fairly simple, it's got a nice bit of branding on it. We'll pop in for a, uh, a close-up in a minute. That's quite a nice touch. Seems to be well behaved, it doesn't seem to sort of, uh, sort of 
ooze ink as you go indoors, outdoors, and have the change of temperatures, which is what you want with a sort of pocket companion pen. So, what really attracted me to this pen was the uh, the unique style of it, and also it was the fact that it was the sort of a perfect everyday carry pen. Things like the Twisby, the Lamy 2000, or the uh, Faber Castell Emotion, all great pens, a couple of great steel nibs in there as well, but nothing is compact as the Caveco. Oh, going the wrong way there. Nothing is compact as the Caveco, really nicely sized, perfect pocket companion. So it's got the sort of same form factor as a little multi tool or a Swiss Army knife. That's a medium sized Swiss Army knife. It's really got a nice form factor, as you say. It's perfect companion for your field notes. Or well, actually, if you're a fountain pen user, I'll be recommending these Rhodia notes. These are actually much better for the fountain pen ink. So as I say, it's a perfect companion for that sort of setup. And if you want to carry it around in something like the uh, the Maxpedition pouch there, you can fit your pad in there, and you get your your pen all strapped up, all nice, perfect for everyday carry. So as I say, nice form factor, nice size, good everyday companion. If you've got a handbag or a man bag, fits in there nicely, I'd suggest. Suit pocket, it's really good size. Okay, so let's get in for a little bit of detail, have a look at the finial and uh, the feed, and then we'll do a writing sample. Okay, so let's have a look at this in close up. You've got nice, smooth, Plastic, a little bit of knurling on the end there, just to help you undo it. Nice snug fit. Got nice Caveco branding on the finial there. If you can pick it up, you've got a nice brand on the underside of the feed. Bit of detail on the nib there, and then just a little look at the uh, at the cartridge converter. A little bit different silicon sack. A little Conveco brand on there. Okay, let's go in for a little bit of writing sample, and then we'll wrap it up. Okay, coming in for a little writing sample here. Never the easiest thing to do. Always uh, working around a camera. Um, so please excuse my handwriting. It's not the best at the best of times. But this is the uh, Caveco. Sport. Classic. And it's a medium nib. And it's inked up with the Ackerman. Royal Blue and the nib is very generous, well behaved, consistent. It really doesn't skip a beat. I've, I find it very, very good. This is a good ink, but uh, it's never presented any problems at all. Um, nice and smooth. One of the better steel nibs that I've used by a long chalk. Um, doesn't quite have the banks of gold, that sort of feedback you get, um, but really, really nice to write with, especially given the, the petite size. Yeah, all in all, a real pleasure, and if you want to take a look at these, I'll put a link in the video below. I'll pick this up from Bureau Direct, um, and yeah, please check it out, it's a really good everyday carry pen. Okay, if you like the video, please like. And if you like the channel, if you like videos on pens, EDC kit, 
knives, boots and denim, that sort of stuff, please take a look. I'd love it if you subscribed. And I hope that's useful. Thank you very much. Bye bye.